Looking for the best transitions right now? Welcome to the largest transitions package. This is over 1,100 of the most advanced seamless transitions for Premiere Pro. The smartest optimization and fastest render speed will save you time. Our package works with any Premiere Pro version since CC 2015. Just try the handy drag and drop method right now. Audio jump. Hello and welcome to Transitions Library. In this video we will take a look at how to use our package. This is the largest transitions package ever that includes more than 1400 transitions for any situation. After purchasing you can use our package for unlimited videos and will have free updates every month. Since the first version we have added more than 600 amazing transitions, glitch presets, design transitions and many more. Now, I'll show you how to use our package. Before you start it, you need to unzip your archive. Then simply select project file and open it. After that, you need to resave it. Just go to File, Save As and replace project file. Now you can import transitions package into your project files. Just drag and drop it into your own project. Make sure you have Allow Importing Duplicate Media is on. Attention. If you have Premiere Pro CC 2018 and above, you just open our Transitions as Parallel project. It will be the easiest way for you. Now, let me tell you how to import our Transitions. Firstly, just make sure that your render type is CUDA. If you have Mac, you need to use OpenCL. Before importing, you need to follow two simple steps. Disable Nest, icon should be grey coloured, Turn off Track 1 because Transition Preview located at Track 1. Now open Transitions folder to see how it looks. To see previews you need to turn on Icon View Mode. Use your mouse to watch preview. Just select any transition and drag it on Timeline like that. So now let's check how you can change resolution. This is a simple step-by-step -step guide about it. First of all, just check your sequence resolution. Then, go to Change Resolution folder. Select the Adjustment layer and change resolution to the same as in your sequence. After that, all transitions will automatically update and you can use it. As you can see, you can use any resolution, everything you want. It's easy. Let's take a look at new motion graphics transition. To import it in project file, you need to use Essential Graphics Panel. Just open it now. Then you can check Preview, select any of presets and drop it to Timeline. Perfect! Now you can customize it. Select Transition Layer, open Essential Graphics Panel and change colors. You can choose any colors you want.
thank you for purchasing our package. Check more cool stuff in our profile at videohive.net slash user slash nitrosme or on our website nitrosme.com. Thanks for watching. Hello, let's check the full gallery of transitions and see how fast it is. The first category is Aberrations. The next is Fade, includes 50 transition. Amazing Flat category, includes 90 transitions. Glass transitions. The biggest glitch category ever. Stylish grunge category. The next is Cool Light Leaks. Beautiful modern selection. Offset category, includes 54 transitions, panoramic transitions, then huge perspective category, render time of 8 seconds, the shake category, greatest smudge transitions, you all like this, spin category, more than just split category, stretch transitions, then you can see warp transitions. Last but not least is Zoom Category. This package a new way to create.